Hi, I'm Les Mauricia. And I'm Olivia Hansen. And welcome back to another exciting episode of The Runway Report. Now, the Iowa State Fashion Show is one of the largest student-run organizations in the nation, and today we'll tell you why. The fashion show is entirely self-funded, and they get donations through Fund ISU as well as host various fundraisers throughout the semester. Last week, Olivia and I got to hang out during one of these fundraisers. Here's how it went. organizing a basketball concession stand fundraiser. We have 68 committee members working stands tonight. Uh, yeah, we're super excited to be out here and we get proceeds from Levy Restaurants uh, for doing it. We just brought in um, half of our committee members and we're taking over Hilton Coliseum working all of their normal concession stands and trying to raise lots of money for the fashion show. Uh, this fundraiser is so important because it does bring in a lot of money. Last year we were able to bring in close to $7,000 and every little penny counts to help us reach our goal to be able to put on the show which costs about 50 grand to put on. Molly and I do a lot of preparing. We work very hard. We needed to send out sign-up sheets. We needed to make sure everyone had a ride tonight because of the cold. We needed to make sure it wasn't going to be canceled. We needed to do sign-up sheets, make sure everyone had a t-shirt. And then we're just here right now making sure things go smoothly. And if they have any questions, we're the liaisons between them and Levy. You know, Olivia, it was really cool to see all the moving parts, so many bodies in motion. But the best part was that it was a very successful fundraiser for the fashion show. Yes, Les, it was really successful. And there's so many people that go into this. There's so much hard work involved. And at the Hilton fundraiser, they raised around $4,000. And right now, through the Fund ISU donations, they're at about $9,000 of their goal, and their goal of reaching $25,000 as a whole. Excellent, Olivia. And we also got a chance to catch up with the fashion show class, which means Wednesday nights, and they discuss fashion show stuff. We got a chance to catch up with the producers on the subject of Fund ISU. Here's how that went. I think this year we've come out with a strong hit um, with getting people excited on committees and getting directors excited, getting things out on social media right away, getting the hype up, just getting that reach right away definitely got a good amount of money donated. Working with uh, the ISU Foundation for the last three or four months um, with a couple contacts there and we've had to put together videos on what it all does and um, we've had to work with committee members and sharing posts and we've filled up the page with about it and we've been doing updates so uh, it's definitely a whole teamwork effort and it was not just Hannah and I that got this whole page launched. It was definitely a whole group of people that we have to thank for the Fund ICU. So the money goes towards um, $10,000 worth of scholarships that we give out during the show um, and it just helps fund like the show overall. Um, it's not cheap to put on the nation's largest student-run fashion show. Um, it's not cheap and so we need that money to you know put the set that set design together, um, hair and makeup for the models. Um, it just covers all of those little things that we need to pay for. The fashion show is nearly approaching. It's that time, Olivia. We're starting to see things come to play. Things are really starting to come together. There's a lot of exciting things to come, but still a lot of hard work to do. So be on the lookout. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Les Mauricia. And I'm Olivia Hansen. We'll see you next time.